here. I was asked to look into this person. Her name is uh, Pearly Snappy. She does these, um, she does like anti Scientology uh, protests, I suppose. Um, and uh, I was just asked to take a look. And so I think we're going to take a look at one of these videos here. Uh, I heard she's like a ghoul. Like, so we'll see what's going on. This is Pearly Snappy is making Mondays unprofitable for Scientology and LA fundraising. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, your, your audio is dead. What's happening? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome to Monday at the Org. Monday at they the Org. Like, like there's nobody at the Scientology Org. There's no Scientology left. Why before me? And they shut everything down another, under a minute. So the blind tech is in effect right now. They're really knocking that out of the park. What's up, Susan? How are you on this fine Monday? I'm out d d destroying a cult on a Monday. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. What's up, Miss Kim? Hello, what's up, Marilyn? Sarah, ramble on. What's up, everyone? It is uh, a warm Monday. May the force be with you. Hello. I see that there are some mods in here. So hello to you as well. And thank you for being here. It is a gorgeous day. It's nice and warm. Uh, what's up, Pamela SP? Yeah, there's um, no Brandon. They shut down the blinds in less than a minute. Everything's uh, maybe they don't like you. Pretty quiet. The people worship a space alien, but powerful. they have every right not to like you. It's not really ha happening anymore. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Oh yeah, no, it's right there. That's the college right across the street. Uh huh. Working and lurking. Perfect, smooth Roni. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. She got a camel back. She's a expert protester. Yeah, one minute shade tech. What's up, Kayla? West Coast Fancy Nancy. Good golly, Miss M. Oh, look, she's pointing a, a, a camera at a building. That's the youngest Scientologist, not the guy with the cane, the other guy. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Ms. Kim, they're not selling after you in the evenings out front, but they are on campus. I mean, my, my look, my boobs do what they want. They have a mind of their own. Oh, good for that. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. But they still, you know, sometimes these boobs have taken so many elbows at concerts, public transportation, all that stuff. What's up, William Peterson? What's up, Holly? Yeah, no one is, uh, there. not yet anyway, not yet. But we got eyebrows here, he's going in. If only she had a box to throw, that is correct. Get in your cult! Wait, what? Eyebrows here, he's going in. He's going in there. Get in your cult! Did she just yell at him to get in his cult? I think she just yelled at him to get in his cult. That's what he's doing. Like, well, what the fuck? Why are you, like, harassing some random person? I've thought about it before, Bryce, but honestly, I'm too lazy to clean that mess out. Yeah, they're further in campus. Um, I'm going to keep my cans to myself, but like when my cans are up, my cans are up. No, what? door tech is not, um, not fixed. But uh, we drove through part of campus and, and where like the main part of it was before, I don't think that they're still, there might be, I don't know. Yeah, so there, Miss Kim, they're generally off of um, Speedway. Can we skip ahead? Do you think anything even happens? Aww. Let's skip ahead an hour. I, appreciate that info. I belong in the circus. But who's that guy, and why are you just like titty. filming some dude? He's, he's just he's having a he's having a Starbuckles. 
Nope, no further spread. No, he's gonna give himself like, he's gonna like tear something. He's just chilling. Well, I just don't like the way that he's like 2D flowing my ass right now, because he is. Wait, that's just some guy sitting on a bench. Well, if he's a, I don't think he's an F-Scientist, I think he's a PI. Because he's a private, he's just some guy sitting on a bench. Dear sir, do you know that my entire chat is currently roasting the ever-loving shit out of you and your stupid manspread on the bench? Do I don't think he's manspreading. He's like leaning back, his legs aren't together. Do you know this, sir? Do you know? But that's just some guy. I think he just did. I don't know. He might just like have to like, I mean, I do have a fine ass for sure. He's wearing fucking sunglasses. How do you know he's not asleep? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. That smell is worse than hot dog water. It seems to be emanating from your balls. I like, think what is this? Kind of like cheese. Old cheese. Thank you so much, Sue. Appreciate you. Is he, he's got a mullet. Are those Swifty brands? They might be. I wonder if the, if the camera on the other... Like, if I do this... If I face the other way... Oops, sorry. If I face the other way... Let's do this. There's nobody there. Nothing's happening. The right, this way it could be real, real obvious. Yeah, that's a much better picture of this idiot on the bench. But he's he's just he's just like unless he did something like in like the before he's just sitting there minding his own business. I think this, she's on I Hollywood Boulevard. Says, though. I'm pretty sure she's on Hollywood Boulevard. Sometimes people sit on a bench on Hollywood Boulevard. More, more like barfa mail. From Munda Cheese, that's exactly what it is. Ew, gross. Ew, gross? What, he's having a sip of his beverage? Gross. We're, I mean, we're really talking about the bitch tits on this one. Wait, what? He's just like a meat, like an average build guy. He's probably like in my age cohort and just an average uh, build guy. Like, what the fuck? Like... His stupid butt chin. Wait, what? You can't even tell. He's got a fucking uh, a bad beard and a little. Uh, I don't have thing. any merch to bring, but I will be bringing the pink Jeep probably. It is a discount, Kurt Russell. I did not wave to him yet. Oh, he's got Yon Tech for us. We love Yon Tech. Wait, what? So I mean, like, but literally, dude, dude is just fucking sitting there. Like, literally, dude is just fucking sitting there. So bored, so brave. I don't know what it is. So bored, so brave. The bird, I want one to shit on him. There's somebody coming in or out of the doors. Yeah, because there is no Scientology. There's no Scientology left, lady. Look at him keeping those TRs in, man. Wait, what? No, I want he's, him to. But he's just, he's just sitting on a bench. I think they're on Hollywood Boulevard. It's just a dude sitting on a bench on Hollywood Boulevard. Listening to me? Exactly. Because who sits on a, on a bench like a creep and just stares at somebody? Well, you don't know where he's looking. He's got sunglasses on. And, like, who's staring at who here, lady? Pearl Snappy, you, you, I don't know. If I thought somebody was filming me, I might be looking over there too. Be like, why is this person filming me? Like he's trying to like burn a hole through. No, it, yeah, he is evil blue eye, and it's not working. He's amusing me. He's making me laugh at his idiot, stupid face. Get in your coat! Oh yeah, she yells at the Scientologist. She's like, get in your cult, which is like kind of like I don't know. That's like I don't know. I don't, I don't know what is what. What the fuck is this? Yeah, she's staring at him. Now he's staring back at her. So what's the point of this? Because he's not stopping me from doing anything. He's well, just sitting but you're not like really doing it. Like, she's... Oh, we made him laugh. We got him to laugh, y'all. We got him to laugh. Look at this idiot. I made up my own reactor.
your mind and I'm not gonna do it anymore. Clear cog. Scientology is like, hey, dude, go sit out there on this bench. Or it's just some guy sitting on a bench being like, why is this person filming me? Uh, DOA's black socks. I don't know. Some weird fuck is just sitting on a bench watching me like a creep. Right. But but also, where is he supposed to look? He's just looking forward. Yeah, I'm so intimidated. It looks like I better pack up and go home. I'm so scared that this idiot with a fucking mullet and a butt chin and a fucking flavor saver under his lip looking like a whole asshole is just sitting here like a fucking weirdo. That's the one that you picked to compare him to? Like one of the worst actors and shittiest Scientologists of all? Wait, what? I mean, does that tell y'all everything y'all need to know or no? No, I don't know anything about him. No. He's just some random guy. He's just sitting on a bench. It's better than Tom, but... You know. Maybe he's there to pr protest the cult, too. Who said that? Jody. <laughs> you're, you're in trouble. What the fuck is this? Who has Oxford comma? Who has... We got, we did, well, the, the whole thing is like a big BT cluster over here. Dan, you know he does, and Booger. Malta, yes. Well, I mean, he's, she's, to be fair, she's been filming him for quite some time at this point, right? Like, I'd fuck, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Mmm. That, um, I, what's wrong with a butt chin? Because John Travolta has one. Nobody's talking about the way you look. If Tom Cruise ate Chandra Fulta, yeah, exactly. But that's literally that's literally just like an average like, oh, guy. Like that's a guy in my like an average guy in more or less my age cohort. I don't know what 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 she's doing here. I know Tanya. Like of all the names, like from yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what is he? Like I don't even who cares what he's doing. He's just some guy sitting on a fucking bench. Watching Pearl, watching my every move. <laughs> Throw an Amazon box at him to see what happens. The box, the box. It us and Butchins, private eyes. And Butchins, Butchins. I don't know where the bird lady is. He is giving moose knuckle vibes, a hundred percent. And also moose knuckle. Like moldy cheese. Uh, but he's just sitting there. I wonder if he knows where Bob Ferris is. <laughs> Who the fuck is Bob well, yeah, Ferris? Yeah, the reality time and the other one's F Scianto time. He could be Blake or he could just be watching me. I'm also all for the Oxford comma. I do not agree with Vampire Weekend when they made a whole song saying who gives a fuck about it. I think he should just start filming her. Oh, now he's on the phone. I don't know if he's with Scientology or not, but I feel like he should just start filming her. Oh, he is. Fuck yeah. Just start filming her. This Fuck yeah. What doing here. He's just going to film me back. Awesome. I love. Well, no, he's streamer now Wars. not filming you anymore. The most. You guys, I love streamer wars. This is so great. Because do you see what he's doing right now? Do you see that he's filming me? Um, Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. We can tell that you are both filming each other now. Oh my God, you guys, there's 600 people watching my stream and you think that I give a fuck that this weird fuck, get in your cult, is filming me? This weird fuck is sitting on a bench filming me and he thinks- To be fair, he, mostly, most of what we've watched, ma'am, is he was just sitting on the bench. Now he may or may not be filming you. He may be taking photographs of you. This is some sort of intimidation factor. There's over Wait, 600 what? of y'all in there. And you're all thinking that he looks like a whole asshole too. They're all waving at you. They've all run your face through fucking facial recognition because you sat there without your phone in front of your face for a good fucking 20 minutes like a whole fucking idiot. Of course he's zooming in. He wants some of these fucking cans. What the fuck? 
It's like, a yo, she's fucking, she's fucking, she's fucking, she's fucking out of her fucking mind. Like, what is going on? Where is this bench? Y'all should fucking give me a few hundred bucks. I'll go down to LA and just find out when she's going to go there. I'll just go sit on this bench and fucking sit there and talk all kind of shit about me. It'd be fun. Your camel toe is showing, bro. No. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, He's just sitting there. Days. I think your chin just farted, bro. You might want to wash that off your phone. What the... F what? What is happening? Your face looks like a whole asshole. Sir, why are you being such a creep and... Fil and so she's like an insult comic without the comic part, right? Sitting there all day. Are you doing this for Daddy Osa? Are you doing this for Daddy Osa? Yeah, he's uh, clearly part of the uh, Scientology uh, counterintelligence group Osa, by, as evidenced by the fact that he's uh, sitting on a bench after you've been filming him and, like, yelling at him for a while. And he's like, well, I mean, uh, whatever. People be filming around here, I suppose. Who knows who this guy is? Oh, Daddy! Oh, Daddy Osa! Oh, God, this girl's yelling at me! Oh, God, you fucking idiot! You're so fucking ridiculous. Daddy Osa, spank me harder next time. Stick it right in my butt chin, Daddy Osa. What the idiot. fuck? A weird fuck. Yeah, now he's just laughing at her. I mean, what else would you like? You'd laugh at her. I'd, I'm laughing at her right now, and I'm not even there. I'm not in a cult, but he's just been sitting here watching me interbulate the cult. So Wait, I no, 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 ma'am, you're you've been sitting there watching him for quite some time. Yeah, I'm like rooting for him too. I don't even know him, but he pro probably ain't Scientology. He's just sitting there. That he's part of it. This isn't his first time, so he's being creepy. So I'm gonna just roast him. Are you roasting him? Yeah, he's just fucking like, why is this chick filming me? You too. I know it, Tim. I can't wait for LA either. Creeptology. Right, you chose John Travolta as your look-alike, bro. That's like your. He doesn't look like John Travolta. Butt chins. You went with with a science. He looks like fucking what was that guy from uh fucking Jackass? He looks like Bam Margera. Just who let this cult murder your child. That's who you want to look like, you and your butt chin. You want to be with the guy who's like so fucking brainwashed by this shit that he's like, oh yeah, they killed my kid and I don't give a fuck. Awesome. Wait, what? But he, the, the, you're, now you're just writing fanfic Which about some guy sitting on a bench. Around him. Just be like a butt chin is sitting right here. Yeah, Timu, Timu maybe. This is like the shit that guy, he's like the keystone of Coors Light comparison. <laughs> I oh, yeah, that one, he, he, I don't think his hat in his, yeah, but like, what's his shirt say? You should just uh, zoom in and enhance. Brat, Maybe, I, you know what? I wonder if he'll even get reimbursed for it, because you know the cult does not like to reimburse Starbies. Wait, what? Thank you so much. He's really? not going to get reimbursed for his uh, iced mocha. 100%. Welcome to mullet moves and butt chins. Yeah. You can find me on Pearl Snappy if you're looking for the stream where I'm zoomed in on your butt chin. Uh, YouTube. Pearl Snappy. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm going to look you up. What the fuck, dude? I can't tell, though. That's okay. You got a you got a sub to comment. <laughs> right, Saul? Moanian. He's like going over and following your YouTube channel. He's like, uh, I'm just on break at work, and you're weird. Bell Gareth isn't Heath. Yes, I do believe so. I do believe that is him. He 
he's looking. He found out her channel. This is funny. He's like looking at himself as she looks at him. I know. Let's see if we can find out who in chat he is. Not welcome moves, man. Like, what the fuck? I hope he reads hey, the Somebody chat. told me this lady's crazy. She's crazy. So proud, so brave. So proud, so brave. I made up my own reactive mind and I'm not gonna do it anymore. What? Are, what the fuck? Choctology. The, the booger is still in the beard for sure. What? And the eyes on the tree are freaking people out. There we go. See, now y'all can see his hair. There you go. All right. They want to know if those are friendship bracelets. Oh, that's great. She got a fan out of him now. He's a fan of her stream. Well, that's what they normally do. Well, to be fair, that is what they normally do to me. I don't think so, California. Wait, what? I don't think this is going to turn into a friendship. I hope not, at least for his sake. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think it's hot dog water. It's probably just like regular. Could be a chai. It's empty now. If I were him, I'd go get another fucking iced latte and sit right the fuck back down on the bench. Speaking of another drink, I'm going to go get another drink. Not the cow mag. What's up, Jesse? The indeed, do it. <laughs> Black cloud. <laughs> Not the chin ball tea. <laughs> oh, Blake Reed. Zenu, 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 Zenu. <laughs> well, sub to my channel. Normally, they do put people out here to watch me. So if you're not one of those people, I do apologize. But well, then you got a sub. I'm not taking it off sub only. You don't have to sub. But if you want to chat, you do. I don't know. Make a troll account sub to it so you could chat. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Not taking it off sub only. Sub for Zenu. Sub for Zenu. <laughs> Jan. It could be Toronto. It could be a nice and shake. Like, does anything else happen in this video? That could be. I don't know. It could be. Uh, I think Psych Fest is happening right now. If I, I wanted to see the best. Okay, let's see what happens here. Yeah. Right. I know, I know DT30. <laughs> I don't know, Saul. I mean, if he's here for Psych Fest, it could just be like LSD. 
Wait, there's a festival happening know, nearby? In front of a cult while you're tripping balls on it. I mean, what a waste of drugs. He's totally stalking this guy, right? This is weird. Blink twice if you need help, name us. Oh, so this, this is, is really from happy. YouTube. Sub just means follow. So much for your support. I appreciate you. He has been here for a while, yeah. I think my chat is followers only, isn't it? I don't know how Twitch works. He's just going to leave now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he didn't even say goodbye? No, he finished his... He, finished he didn't his, say goodbye! He finished his drink and left. He got bored with you. How the hell is he going to not even say goodbye after all that? After all that? After all, right. all that? He didn't after all what? But nothing happened. Wow. His feefies were hurt. How did he not even come over and say hello after all that creeptastic bullshit? Um, ma'am, because you were doing the creeptastic bullshit. Where'd he go? Like away. I wanted to see the bench guy. I missed the bench guy. You just passed him. You must have just passed him. Oh, man. Wait, there's people. Wait, there's people that watch her live stream and then come see her. I wanted to see this jerk. They were talking. I mean, but he wasn't doing anything. Like, did we see him do anything? He just was sitting there. Oh no, he was. He was trying to like. He just sat there staring at me, and then when I pointed the phone at him, he was just like, "You're weird. What are you doing? You're weird." I'm like, "You're the one on a bench, just sitting here, like staring." But that's what the bench is for. <clears throat> what are you doing sitting on that bench? What is she, a cop? To me, so I put the phone on and I zoomed him, and then I told him what my chat was on YouTube. And so he came into my live. Yes. But then he was like, turn it off subs only so I could chat. I'm like, no, you're going to have to sub to my channel yeah, to chat. Exactly. Then he was like, no, you're being mean. And I was like, well, you're being creepy, bro. Oh, no, you can do No, literally, he wasn't. Like, he didn't do anything creepy. He was just sitting on the bench. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He didn't do anything. Exactly. It's not free admission here, bro. You got to pay the cover charge. You got to pay the troll tax. What? You got to pay the troll toll. That's right. If you want to get... But who's the guy she's talking to? That's right, Cher. Talk about love you and leave you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He just stood up and walked away and didn't even say goodbye. What the hell? Oh. Rude. I'm, I was almost in tears. We had, like, really built something, you know? He'd yeah. been, like, staring at me and not saying anything for, like... Right. <laughs> He was I know. I thought we were building fuck? a friendship. I thought maybe we were going to get him to protest with us. None of that. Yeah, this is. Yeah, was she in a cult before? I don't even know. Was she? Is she a former cult member? Maybe he did go to get more friends. He said he was at a fest. Yeah, no business. Yo, yeah, there's a party, and he like fucking wanted to get away from the fucking music, and he went and sat on a bench, and you were fucking. Maybe he was high. Maybe he was drunk. He's like, fuck, man, I smoke too much weed. I need a fucking. I need an iced latte. He goes over there and some fucking lady starts filming him. Like, I, that fucking dude probably had nothing to do with the cult of Scientology. Yes, today. Not surprising. Not yeah, but I know, I know all the lingo. I know all, I know more about uh, Scientology than most people. I'm, I'm not a former co a Scientologist. Wait, who's this guy? No ass lap tech or nothing. <laughs> Why is he yelling at a door? I mean, like, at least the people on J6 stole a door. Why is he yelling at a door? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. But, like, I, the other the problem here, why so dang this, is that, like, I'm not, this this person who's doing this, this video, like, I'm not really sure that we're going to be able to get into this kind of headspace, right? She's out of her fucking mind. Yeah, Sorry. I'm going to catch up with that. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Wait, why aren't you making fun of the way this guy looks over here? On the left, the guy on the left, the guy she was talking to, you don't look too terribly dissimilar from the fucking dude she was making fun of. Right? He's just a, like a like a medium, like average build guy in my age cohort. So, did you meet Sue before? No, I did not. You'll meet her when we come back. It does look like David Tell. David Tell's actually pretty fucking cool.
David Tell would never do this. He's the one that wanted to take us out to lunch. <clears throat> oh, dang. Yeah, they put the fucking, they're like the same guy, right? He might have been, but He's you know. a normal what? guy. I'm not interested. I don't know, the word normal might be bad. Just like an average guy. This guy's probably like my age, so was the other guy. You know, somewhere 40 to 50 years old. Just fucking regular. Why isn't she talking about his tits? Like, like I don't care. But yeah, like, why isn't she? You don't know if he has a butt chin. He's got a beard. That, she just handed me cash for the trip. Oh. So amazing. You having a good day? Wicked. You? I'm having a good day. It's nice. Good. We tried to get him into the stream, y'all. It was just like, he just did not want to be here. He did not want to play with us. Like, he told you, he, 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 I missed the part. I guess he said he was at a festival. He was at, like, some kind of Monday party in fucking Hollywood, I guess. Yeah, well, Monday there. parties in Hollywood. Let's everybody. move there. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Sunday. Okay. Monday's my day off. Right I'm going to just do a little juke. Juke him. Do it. Like, uh, That's right, Russ. Yeah, like his bag. Oh, that was so kind of, of Sue to satchel. stop by and do that. <laughs> this is a satchel. Yeah, this and was still, supposed to be on a Monday. To, uh, we're going to L.A. I'm trying to work. Me and Selfless are... Uh, Wait, this isn't even in L.A.? Uh, fundraising for our trip to L.A. on Wednesday. If he was a Scientologist, can you imagine his auditing bill after reading your chat? Oh, my God, right? Wait, what? But he said he was at a festival. <laughs> generally enjoy a good cup of creepy with my afternoon bench coffee <laughs> right we do i do miss him now already lady the only thing creepy that was happening there was you like if i was like at a party or whatever and i walked to like, walk to the nearest coffee shop and just sat down and had like a iced fucking mocha or an iced latte and i found out someone was uh, fucking filming me and then i started taking pictures of them i'm not the creepy one Oh, he is still watching. What's up, bench guy? Awesome, cheeseburger guy. You seem so fun. I, I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, maybe we can have like a different experience, you know? Thank you so much, Ms. Redsphere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheeseburger guy, I feel like maybe, maybe people are just giving you a bad rap, you know, and you just need somebody to like, uh, you know, have some compassion. I thought this, you know where I mean? is this? So maybe we should start it off that way, cheeseburger guy. Does it say in the description where this is? Probably not, right? Well, I don't know what his name was in chat. Wait, why'd the police like show him. up? The guy sitting on a bench too long? Maybe well, Portland? It's no, legal to sit on a bench in, in Portland and not spend money. That's oh, not. shit, no, he had an iced latte. I'm going to be in the shrubs if the cops come. Filming everyone for their safety, but through the shrubs. You need a, I'll give you a hug. You need to crack in the bushes is what you mean, lady. Yeah, I will. But it, don't be going for the cans now. Don't be going for the cans. And don't, it don't. Like so far, nothing has happened, you, right? Okay? In this video, like fucking nothing has happened except that she was like creeping don't, don't on some guy now. sitting on the bench. So far. A butt chin guy. He was special with his little soul patch. What's up again? Yeah, the soul patch is a little okay. weird. Yeah, I, where, the, 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 where'd he go? The, I don't know. Is he in Sugar Ray? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, right? If not Scientho, why Scientho shaped? Excellent Wait, what? No, uh, we, we have no idea if that guy was a Scientologist or not. He was a guy sitting on a bench. That's true. I do need to put like a little thing. That guy walking by had a nice ass. You see that? The wagon so that people will think I'm out here busking. Yes, yes, Kavash, she seems quite terrible. You are correct. Uh, Kavash Residue, you are a good judge of character, and I agree with you. I don't know, Cheeseburger Guy, are you going to sing with me? Do you, Are you familiar with my song? Wait, who the fuck is Cheeseburger Guy? I do like guy? a little duet when I'm there. I could, I could do a Cheeseburger Just the late for a cheeseburger, and I, I ain't desperate enough to get, get Jack. I could go to a Jack in the Box. That's I'm not, I ain't that desperate though. My God. Uh, his PayPal is not on his list. Well, I'm gonna make a uh, grilled cheese sandwich after the show. Actually, hold on. 
wait one second i'll drop off so i saw somebody and somebody around here bought that fucking expensive ass cheese it was i forget that other brand it's like more expensive than tillamook but i saw a big brick of fucking um a big brick of cheddar cheese in the fridge this is um oh wait can i not put it in here so i'm not i'm not confident that she used to be a scientologist because I think that, like, the ex or anti Scientology community is so obsessed with Scientology that they know the lingo as well as any person who's been in the cult for like a year. I don't know if that I may, mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think she's ex Scientologist. There you go. Thanks, are you? And I also don't care. Yeah, we'll drop all the selfless stuff in here. Ooh, Tillamook medium meat cheddar is a you make a, a fucking quality grilled cheese with Tillamook medium cheddar. No, I forget. I mean, it's the fucking. There's this other brand. It's like a like a Bay Area brand. It's a good ass fucking. Uh, I think it was a mild cheddar I though. Could, I think we can maybe really come to an agreement here. You know, I you feel like mild cheddar cheese. Add some fucking. Add some like put some tomato on there and make yourself a grilled cheese sandwich. Quality. Misunderstood. <laughs> Did anything else happen in this video? He said he's looking forward to meeting you and then like had a fist punch emoji. <laughs> oh, somebody brought a sign. Real weird thing. I don't think, I'm pretty sure Peter is not the bench dude. But yes, that was amazing, Peter. And if you are the bench dude, how did you pay in pounds when you're in the United States? I have questions. Uh, but so Currency exchange. I have my little... He's from St. Hill. Sign. That's a very small sign. N Why did you even... That sign's like a foot and a half wide. This is like a really handy little one just to... Let's see. Ooh, ooh, you know what I do? If I make a grilled cheese, I'll use mayo on one uh, piece of bread and butter on the other. It's quite good. You know what I found though? Like if you use homemade mayo to butter the bread for your grit, it doesn't turn out as well. You gotta use the, the shitty store brand or like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta use craft. If you make your own mayonnaise, it doesn't really work so well for the outside of a grilled cheese. I don't know why. Might be the kind of oil that I'm using. Who knows? As they are. A hundred a day isn't enough. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll make sure Russ, I'll let them know. <laughs> we'll take a hundred a day for what I'm doing here. Like, in addition to the money yeah. I make on, like, ads and shit? Yeah, I'll take the 100 a day. I'll take $100 from one of you right now. Not that I think that any of you owe me $100. This isn't great content. Bonsoir. Yo, making mayonnaise is the shit, though. It's just one cup of whatever oil you have, as long as it's not extra virgin olive oil to one egg, and you just add whatever other kind of shit you want, and you use the immersion blender. Oh, my God, it's so good. No, we're familiar with Peter Foster. He's always He hangs out here. He's been around since the beginning. A little bit of paprika and some lemon juice. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, a clove of garlic. A whole fuck, maybe two cloves of garlic. You just drop it in there with that immersion blender. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I have not named the bike yet. Peter is everyone's sugar daddy. Hey, man. There's, I don't require exclusivity. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, I have somebody hit me up on Grinder and they're like, you want to be my sugar daddy? And I'm like, uh, I stream on Twitch for a living. And then they don't really send me any more messages. You know what? Hi, Stacy. Oh, speaking of Stacy, that is, he might be friends with Eric too. So the young people I'm know that you don't make no money. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I'm on Grinder, they find me on Grinder and I stream on Twitch for oh, they be no, and they're like, oh, nope, not rich, not my sugar daddy. Turbulated a former F Scientist. Okay, and turbulated. And turbulated is such a cool word. I hate that Scientology came up with it. If I'm being honest, right? Like. Interbulated is a cool word because it sounds like exactly what it means. I did not mean it. So I was, I had some details off about how the affairs started with Tracy. 
Stacy, and she left. No, this is not like, but there's nothing to affect either. Like, there, you know what I'm saying? That's like, there's nothing to affect. There's no Scientology anymore. I mean, yes, yeah, Scientology exists, but it's just a real estate scam at this point. Like, the high estimate of the number of Scientologists on the planet is 30,000. There are way more people that are involved in the activism uh, counter to Scientology than there are Scientologists. There's 40,000 people in the r slash Scientology Reddit thing. Tracy cheated first with a 17-year-old. Tracy got mad, divorced her. Then had a statutory R situation with the 14-year-old. Um, think- Ooh, I'd go. I'd go further. At fourteen, you're no longer doing statutory rape. Actually, you're just doing child molestation. And I, it's weird to like draw distinctions and shit. But when I, somebody says, "Oh, I got busted for statutory rape," I'm thinking you're fucking twenty four and they're seventeen or something. So much, Lori. So statutory situation with the fourteen year old sister. She was sent away to Wait, sister. Be- well, that's weird. Wait, what are you talking about? After the statute of limitations, plus her age was right for them to not get in trouble anymore. And so he ended up marrying Sheila, and then Stacy married Jim. I mean, it's, I'm sort of obsessed with Scientology and cults, right? But, like, not, like, like this is weird. This is, this is so fucking... Obviously, it's ineffective, right? There's nothing... If Scientology was a powerful organization, or... Um, I mean, they're, they're powerful in so far as they have capital, right? And we live in capitalism. Sure. They're powerful in that they are, uh, they're worth billions of dollars. Absolutely. <laughs> For sure. But that's different. So Stacy cheated first. That was the whole point. I had it backwards. Okay. Wait, who cares about Stacy? Stacy's mom has got it going on. Set the record straight about all of the FAFOing around this org. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's all You're the one fucking around, but there's no find out because there's no one there. Right? She's doing the F.A. There's just no F.O. because there is no Scientology anymore. Gross. And now they're... And Jim... Nope. Tracy and Sheila are still married. And now their kids are cousin step... Or cousin half siblings. I don't know. Liz Ferris, what is up? Hello, everyone. Selfa says hi. They all go to the same cult. Yes, they do all go to the same. They're this one in Austin. They're all here. She oh, you're in Austin. Went, this uh, that, now all this makes sense. Actually, <laughs> it's happening. The festival on Monday. Yep, Austin. Yep, yep. I was a little weird. I thought it was Portland for a second. Festival on Monday. Austin. Yep, there was a festival in Austin. And some guy on acid was sitting on a bench, uh, drinking a, a iced latte and a little bit weirded out. Actually, yeah. We found those papers in the dumpster, and one of the second name on that list was Sheila. Sheila Springer. Um, thank you so much, Carolyn. Um, Look around and wait is what's happening. <laughs> X1011. Fuck yeah, fuck around and wait. She's the one that couldn't get her ins and starts up and emergency conditions. I got that team. They're both deranged, totally. I just thought that. Stacy was innocent in the cheating situation, and she was not. She did it first with the seventeen. But who cares? Who's Stacy? Director of Like it's none of my business who Stacy cheated on. Who's Stacy? I don't know. Maybe Stacy. Oh, was she at? No, this was just a couple. Like, a, like this wasn't that. What was the date on this? Was this South by Southwest? Let's see, April 29th. I don't think this was South by Southwest. Was South by Southwest that recently? Classy. It might be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wait, was South by Southwest going on? I think I was just really mad that nobody was interested in his app. Ends and starts. That's right. There's so much effing around trying it out. Oh, you know what? You're, I'm so glad you reminded me that. I don't know what song it is. About, oh, there's a kid about to come out. There's a kid yeah, there's, about, there's no South by Southwest. There's a kid about to come out behind you, unless they take him out the back. I believe this might be the guy that yelled at me at first. So it seems like your cult is super empty today. Not That's a right. Sass act. 
haven't seen anybody go in yes she last. did no they both statues it's a scientology by scientology west early are some people and then got a divorce and tracy married <laughs> so fucking Easter Bunny, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, 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 Portland and Austin aren't that entirely different. I, there's some, still somebody in YouTube watching my channel after all of the uh, tro- most of the trouble that I've had is from fucking uh, uh, Comcast. I saw that fucking AT and T fiber van driving around my neighborhood. I almost fucking ran after the van. Was like, please give me reliable internet. I will pay you. Sheila, but I don't know anything. I don't know if Jim was the one because Jim doesn't look much younger than her. <gasps> nice. I got great hair. What? Look at this guy. Had... <gasps> nice. I don't. Yeah, know she noticed too. Check Jim it out. Was the one because Jim doesn't look much younger than her. <gasps> nice. Yeah, he had great hair. Do you want some water first? I know, right, because just, you know, kid, like adults in small bodies, right. Right, the Scientology does believe that children are just adults in small bodies, which is fucking crazy. Because I had uh, dinner with my family, and my nephew is not an adult in small body. Also, terrifyingly looks just like me when I was a child. I love you right back, Dan. Uh, you know what? I don't know what the age differences are, but she already had, like, Stacy and Tracy had, like... Oh, Corbin. yeah, there's all kind of places. The other, the, the one I want to move to, and I, I may, if I can't afford moving back to San Francisco, uh, Detroit, actually. They've been rolling out fiber. Like, there's fiber in all these, like, abandoned warehouses that are being turned into lofts in Detroit. And there's fiber everywhere but i ride a bicycle and i would die if it snowed i'd be like uh we we're gonna the media ones would be like uh dave died because it snowed uh three inches and he rode his bicycle barton already so i mean i don't know how old stacy was when she was married my sister is a mother and i got her a gift last year and the year before and she's like oh i didn't know you were gonna get me a gift for mother's day i was like excuse me have you been paying attention she's like not to you. <laughs> I fucking love my sister. She's so mean to me. You know what I mean? Tanya, it's true. Tanya does love Dan more. So I don't, I really don't know. It's just all very interbulating. I know, Peter. Yeah, I don't think so. this person's an ex-Scientologist. I think though, like, I think she, she picked up the lingo in the way, like I, in the way that I've picked up the lingo. Like I, I know, I know the lingo, I know interbulate, but that's, I think I mostly like interbulate. I think it's a great word that we should, uh, incorporate into the English language, which is a little weird to say, I suppose. So oh, great. It was so good to see him smile like that. I can't wait to see it live. Hey, West coast. I don't know. Keister bunny. I fucking, uh, there's a couple places where there's like a content creation community coming up. Uh, Detroit's one of them, but also Baltimore. There's this kind of content creation community coming up. I should move somewhere where there's like a DJ community coming up because I feel like I there was a there was a point where I was a very successful DJ, but also I'm old. Maybe I should move to Florida. There. My twerking dropped to OT level three since you were gone. <laughs> Who would twerk to this? I DJ late at night and I figure like maybe you should twerk while I'm DJing. But I don't know, it's hard on the hips and my, my demographic here is a little bit older. They might be from West by God, Virginia. I mean, you might just see them around here with a whole bunch of RC clothes and moon oh, pies. Oh, fucking, you know, I it's been a long time. I was 22 when I was in Nashville. I thought Nashville was a pretty cool fucking town, actually. People think it's hella country, but there's like a lot of like good music happening in Nashville, and it's it's not it's not all country. In fact, I don't think the majority of it's country. You don't know. It is yucky. It's so gross. 
Like phaetons through the hourglass, these are the scientos of our lives. Like, this is dumb, Tiny. but it's also, she's giving it away. She thinks this is a soap opera. But the problem, the thing about soap operas is there's people that are involved in the drama on soap operas. And all you got so far is a guy sitting on a bench. Probably crying in a little cat pillow, missing Dan. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like, okay. I'm a city, I'm a, I'm a city mouse curious. Or like, I am like, I do not like... <clears throat> Like, I'm happier now where I am, but when I lived in South San Jose, like, I felt so alienated. Like, I, I'm better here where I live, which is weird because people would think it's, like, more suburban where I live now, but it's actually, like, denser where I live. I don't know. Like, there's, like, more culture where I live now. I don't... I would... I couldn't... I have to live in, a like, a dense place. I'm, like, terrified of, like, sparse, like, rural areas. Oh, yeah, when I was in Nashville, I was just there as a tourist. Like, rich, oh, rich rednecks? Are they hot? Yeah, he's gonna kick ass live. What are, you are they easy? No questions about that. Appreciate y'all being here. What could I cowboy up and get laid? I don't know. Thanks for dropping my links and Selfless's links. Appreciate y'all. Selfless says thanks. Yeah, but I'm used to that. Like, I, I'm from Silicon Valley. I'm, like, used to money ruining culture. It could be. It is a little, it's, it is giving a little bit bubba when it comes to that. Also, Stacy's giving a little bit bubba. I don't know the song that she's saying though, largely because it's so out of tune and what a disaster. And like, it was just not pleasant on the on the. Oh, ear. but I'm not looking for females. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big old mo. Are there hot guys in Nashville? I don't care if they have to pretend I'm their roommate. At all, it was not pleasant. Thank you, M. Appreciate that all the way down over there with all of your plants and animals that try to kill everybody when you go outside. Oh, Keister, Keister Bunny, I got a job offer, but the, the job offer, it paid pretty good, too, but it was in Venice, a Venice beach, and I was like, well, this job offer seems to pay pretty good, but um, I'd have to live in, like, Venice or Santa Monica, and an apartment is $4,000, so this job offer that I got doesn't actually uh, pay that good, you know? I'd like to go to Australia someday, but I'm not touching any of the stuff outside. Cyan Tinder. <laughs> Ew. Ooh, Cyan Tinder. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be up for that. I could turn out some fucking... I'd be like, you worship a space alien? No, you worship me. Did you see Sassafras caught a super elderly man cutting down trees? In the, what? No. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of kidding. I don't know if I'd want to move to Nashville. I think if I had to leave the Bay Area, I'd like to move to New Orleans. And I had mentioned earlier Detroit and Baltimore, but New Orleans is a different reason than Detroit and Baltimore. Detroit and Baltimore, it's because it's it's uh, like there's an up and coming like content creator scene there, and uh, New Orleans is just like I could just like drink for a living, I suppose. It's okay, Tilt. You feel better, please. Sending you healing vibes. Please feel better, ma'am. Take some of that OT four twenty, girl. Ooh, now I'm mad. I'm out of weed again. New Orleans is so cool. It's very expensive, though. Very expensive. Like, to live in New Orleans proper is not functionally different than to afford to live in San Francisco, you know? And it's humid. Right, Dan? I know. Is that family... Is that family the one in donating their kids to the Sea Org? Probably. I, I've got to put it up there. I just have to. Somebody's got to just remind me in the comments of this live. <clears throat> San Diego. I I could do San Diego actually. I I'm probably gonna uh, probably gonna fucking uh, dip out like uh, in August for a couple weeks because some of my friends moved to Austin and their house doubled in value and then they moved back to San Diego after selling their house that doubled in value in Austin. Cool thing is my girl Vicky is a streamer and I'd be able to stream while I'm down there. She does video game streams, but she's got a fast fucking computer. 
Uh, fucking San Diego is really cool. Uh, the only problem is if you get out of San Diego, oh, getting out, uh, it's not like here. The weather in San Diego. It's like a little bit of San Francisco because it doesn't get that hot. They have. Which con is in Vegas? I would never. I, I would if I had to move to. Ve oh my god! I would. I would be very unhappy in Las Vegas. Yeah, San Diego. The weather's real good. Real good. It's like better than where I'm at. The weather here in the Bay Area is pretty good, but San Diego is just fucking. Just it's perfect. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, it's perfect. It was on their stories. It was on the stories. That's why I had to screen cap them. I, yeah, right. Thanks, Dragon Tears. Thanks. Appreciate you. <laughs> you might have air conditioning, but you don't really need it in San Diego. I got the, um, it's a cult and... I know. I can't believe that he found those papers with little Easter Bunny. I'll let you know if I move to San Diego. I'll need a friend. It's funny because um, KK was talking. Hopefully, about you're that cool because the only so other people long. I know are a married couple with that. a kid, and like, what, like, how am I really going to hang out with a married couple with a kid? I tried to hang out. I've, I've tried hanging out with my sister and my brother-in-law, but it's like, it's not that fun. Like, I like my sister. I love my sister, and my, I can tolerate my brother-in-law, and I love my nephew. But like, what are we going to do? that like pretty much since you know i met her she was just like we should go we should my brother-in-law used to dj and so like he just wants to talk about that and it's like but but like about this guy who is like, the easter bunny go after him because he's got like five million followers and i was just like well yeah no i'm gonna get somebody else to do that um and then you know stuff happened also keister bunny thank you for holding it down there in the youtube chat if you could tell, we're not very popular on YouTube. It's not my fault, though. We got kicked off when of I YouTube. When I spotted him and zoomed in, I thought he was going to fall. Oh, my goodness. Which link? I mean, I, I, I avoid... I don't know. My nephew is pretty funny. I like my nephew because he uh, made fun of me once. I forget what he said, but he was making fun of me, and that was pretty link. funny. Are they all... Is it all jammed up together is that what's happening it's not coming through a separate link well, you just right, called well, me I'll try old to stop uh putting my own links in then because yeah i just tested it no it took me to cash app oh you no. uh, keister bunny's like oh my boys are grown yeah this is the on twitch it's like the twitch old folks home is <laughs> when we joke around about this channel being like the twitch politics old folks home because the Twitch, the average age is young, but the average age in my channel is um, um, mature, we shall say. If somebody here who's 26 were like, oh, you're a baby. Hoo-ha. Hua hua hoo-ha. I'm going to call you a hoo-ha. Hua hua. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for following. Nope, 404 not found. Weird. Yeah, it's because they're all linked together. And lamp boobs, I mean... I don't know. You're like the median age for for my followers. No, no, it's it's me. You're good. Are you? You're good. I know. I'm trying to do it from a phone, which makes it so difficult. It's a it's a it's a me problem. Question: If I wanted to mod, like, cannot do this. Or not one four twenty. I, I like the bench okay, part of this all, better, mean, actually. Uh, Why aren't you harassing no, someone who's sitting on a bench? Uh, sober as a judge. Whoever as sent me this, they sent me this in the PTS Discord. And whoever sent me this, uh, you're right. This person is weird. I mean, I'm weird, but I'm good yeah, weird, so or at least acceptable weird. And I don't know why. Hmm video after bufferings yeah my internet's bad some do i should have chased down the the, the van that was the, the at&t fiber van. at the or the other night laid on the floor yeah that that did happen here 
Yeah, right? I mean, like, everybody in here is on OT420 pretty much. Okay, are you is the only one. I bet you Kimberly's not. No judgment, though. Yeah, the Bay Area right. is weird in, in a way, right? Like somebody said, oh, North County. Well, the Bay Area is weird because there's like three cities. You got San Francisco, and to the east of it, you have Oakland, and to the south, you have San Jose. And now I live right in the middle of all three of them in Fremont. Dan, don't eat them all before I get there. What's up, Nance? Yeah, it was here. It was I'd at this store. I love that weed right now. I have a zero I weed. think it was my lo- my link is the one that's not working. Are you? I think it's me. I think I'm I think I'm the problem. What is this other guy doing? Oh, he's doing chalk art. I do not drink or smoke. Okay. Peter Sober, he, he's our de- he's our designated driver, y'all. People around here who are mostly he's sober. Okay, How many I people just, who I just smoke weed are mostly sober, honestly. I don't want you to actually go to this link. I just need to be a- <laughs> Wang computers. When I left Fremont, because I grew up here, when I left, it was like the 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 dining choices were like an Applebee's and a Bob's Big Boy. And I got back and I, I moved back here. I was like, fuck, I don't want to move back to Fremont. I was like, it's the food. And then I got here and there's all these great Indian and Afghani restaurants. And there's like fucking, like where I live is like a fucking three minute bike ride from two great Indian markets. And now like I make curry. Oh, it's actually fantastic. Insert like a space. You guys get good weed in Alaska? Um, San Fran, by the way, if you lived here and you called it San Fran, I'd be like, that's somebody I don't want to be friends with. I don't know because I don't have a car. So yeah, it's totally easy to navigate San Francisco. You just get on the Muni or the bus or whatever. And you just go where you're going. You fucking walk. When I lived in San Francisco, I had a car for eight days. Three of those days, my window got broken on my car. So I sold my car. Oh, Chris, is the weed there grown indoors? Oh, you call it Frisco and we're going to throw hands. The weed there, is it indoor? How's your, um, how's your shoulder, Nance? Indoor, yeah, yeah. I grew indoor weed for a while. Uh, We had this cycle, actually. What we were doing after I uh, got graduated uh, from uh, university, <clears throat> we had a warehouse, and we'd grow, we'd like grow a crop. We eventually ended up doing sea of green, but we'd like grow a crop, start it all at once, and when we harvested the crop, we'd clear out the warehouse and throw a rave. <laughs> and then the fucking rave was over, and we'd plant another crop, and we did that for two years. And then we realized it was much more uh profitable to just kind of have a sea of green with a cycle going don't be embarrassed because y'all because people are sober you do you you do not have to leave absolutely not listen they only poop in front of the artisan cupcake shop it's that it's becky's fault for putting an artisan cupcake shop in the tenderloin that's why people be pooping there everybody can be here Mm-mm. This is a no-judgment zone. When I lived in the city, to be yeah. fair, I lived in the Castro. <laughs> like I, The problems of the city didn't affect me so much. I lived at Market and Church. Um, I think, like... There's a lot of good places to live in the United States. New York City. Um, I haven't lived in New York City. I'm not sure that the price of entry is really high right now. I couldn't move to New York City right now if I wanted to. But I, I'd, I'd probably love to live. I would love to spend, <laughs> you know, six months to two years living in Manhattan or whatever. But it would just probably just get to me. Ooh, 
uh, Pittsburgh. Um, I don't know, but I, Philly. I, 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 I think I, I think I'd like Philly. I don't like, I, I know I wouldn't like Boston because I heard that Boston is a place where like just a guy in a suit and a tie might punch you in the face. That's my understanding of Boston. Had a mood, Ellis Edible. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, it's fine. You can call it San Fran. You don't live here. Hey, say something weird about that lady's headdress. Like, you know the fucking streamer does not like these the headdress on these two ladies. Also, this tall gal right here, I think she probably would assume is trans. And she probably didn't like her either. Yeah, no. Everyone should be totally doing what they want to do. Oh, I've had a really good deep dish, though. Like, it, it, yeah, I've had really good deep dish pizza. There you go. No, she was beautiful. Yeah. And that tall gal was beautiful. Oh, no. That's all good, y'all. I just like, I watch these and I just like, what are these people's politics? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the person whose video we're watching, I bet her politics are hot garbage. I know everyone in here means well. No one meant anything. No one's taken anything. It's all good. Oh, that's what I love about the people that watch my show is I know most of you don't mean well and I love you for it. <laughs> I mean, y'all like me and y'all are, I mean, you, you tolerate me, you tolerate each other, but I, most of y'all, most of y'all don't mean well. <laughs> I appreciate that about all of you because you tolerate that about me. Seeing some stuff on your iPhone could, can be sometimes one of the most obnoxious fucking experiences ever. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing more like anti-woke. If I had to guess this person's politics, I would guess like anti, like vaguely anti woke. <sighs> but I'm just guessing. Mm hmm. It's like the, it's like I have gay friends anti woke, right? Uh, it, this is a safe space. No, no judgment. That's right. I'm doing great, Erica. How are you? Oh, wait. Doing? She said she has a safe space. Maybe she, maybe her politics are okay and she should do other kind of content. Maybe not fuck with people birds. sitting on a bench and point her camera at the fucking door to a cult for a while. Yeah. Why didn't you talk about that man's very short shorts? I mean, I'm like, whatever, wear your short shorts, friend. But why, what? This is, we're, we're here to make everyone's um, choices and uh, boobs uh, feel safe. I don't want anyone's safety to feel unsafe. You know what I mean? Where is the yeah, media? I wench? felt unsafe. Oh, she went to man. bed because she's a normal bench. person. Well, she's not a normal person. She's my co host. But you know what I mean? Ooh, mac and cheese. That sounds good. Oh, my God. We had deep fried mac and cheese bites at dinner tonight. Boob jitsu. I love boob jitsu so much because that's what I really just want to say to uh, to to Jean John. To Jean John. Look at this guy just trying to like be part of what's going on. Like I like, it. like man, you're you're part of what's going on, friendo. You're part of this. You're part of the movement. You're part, man. You're part of the movement. Boob jitsu is my face. Thank you, Art. Wait, she's, he's yelling at a door. Selfless. Someone just said boob jitsu. Say what? Yeah, we caught that. Boob jitsu. Yeah, boob jitsu, indeed. Well, so right. we've got the two jujitsu stars inside. Oh, right. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's something that like. That's a boob jitsu. It's where you smack somebody in the, your, the face with your titties. Which, by the way, I'm a, I'm a gay man 47 years old when i was in high school you think my friends weren't the big titty goths oh you were wrong those were all my friends one of them is still my friend star dj star noir still my homie gene and mike would be really interested oh we got a running tanya we got a runner wait what That's who's right. tanya maybe she has somewhere to be i have boobs full of adipose tissue 
That's right. Titty whack that like button, y'all. Mmm, biscuits and gravy. Dang, I love that. Somebody else. I, I like. Oh, 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 I'll make that shit. I'll make the biscuits and the gravy homemade. It's like during the day, I don't really have anything to do but wait for a video to render. So I got time to cook. I don't know who who said it first or who said it last. I don't really care. It's fantastic. Boob Jitsu is amaze balls. What's up, Margaret? Yeah, of course. But also, like, could we like deprogram the person you know, who's the running the stream? Can we fix her? Because she described her chat as a safe space, like unironically. Um, what's up, Malta? F Sciento, indeed. F Sciento, indeed. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, throw a box at them, whoever. Yeah, it's two thirty a.m. for me too. Right, right. Yeah, they write me every goddamn day. me every. Who did? Day. Not me. Why are you fucking with my shit, bro? Why the fuck did you just assault me? Wait, what? Don't assault me, sir. I don't know fuck all about anything. Wait, what? Who assaulted her? Well, fuck you right back, bro. Keep going. Also, Applebee's is a place to get into a fight. Sir, you need to walk on. I don't know what just happened. I mean, don't assault her, but I mean, she's annoying, but <laughs> these people keep getting hit. Like, don't hit her, but these people keep getting hit. <laughs> Dollar marks are affordable fight fuel. I don't know what the fuck. Did you know for a long time people be getting in fights at Chuck E. Cheese? That just was, but that was not okay. Ooh, if Waffle House is an okay. Uh, don't, but don't get into a fight with the Waffle House staff. You will find out. Remember that video where they threw a chair at that fucking lady working at Waffle House? And she just, out of the air, just snagged the chair and threw it off to the fucking side. That's just sort of how you are if you work at Waffle House. He just House. assaulted me and knocked all my shit over in that thing. This guy right here. He was Osa. He worked for Scientology. No, no, no. Why? Well, yo, yo, like... <laughs> Yo, like, don't do that. But also, like, why do these people keep getting assaulted by just random people walking down the street? I'm okay. I'm just, I got some adrenaline. I feel like I could hang out on a street corner and not get assaulted. I'm okay. Um, yeah, probably if he's, well, I don't know if he's going to leave. I don't know. It's really weird because their phones, like if you really feel like you were the victim of a crime and like, I don't like the police and shit, but if somebody assaults you just randomly, maybe like your only recourse is to call the police, but then you're like, well, fuck, I'm using my phone to film this. You're in a position here. What the fuck was that? It's clearly uh, the Scientology people coming after you. I need another drink. I'm going to make one more drink. I can't fucking stay up till five in the morning drinking tonight. One more drink. One more drink. <clears throat> For the few, the proud, the fucking 19 people watching my Twitch channel. And uh, three people are watching my YouTube channel. It's fucking fantastic. Record numbers on YouTube tonight. I know. Is anybody watching my Facebook stream? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, see, he's still knocking everything over. He's just knocking everything over. Now I'm going to get in trouble for this sign being knocked over. Wait, no, you're not going to get in trouble for anything. <clears throat> I like posting to Facebook because all the people, like, I like pushing the live stream to Facebook because a lot of the people we make fun of, like the chemtrail people are all on Facebook and they'll, like one night there were like fucking like it was like a year ago there were like like we maxed out at like 500 people on twitch without any big raids and one of the people we make fun of is like nobody was watching your facebook stream and then we were like well that that's the entire internet
Also, these people just need a self-defense course. If you're going to go out and do this, like, shouldn't you be like, un like no basic self-defense? I'm not saying these people should be out there like a brawling, but shouldn't you like have like some sort of basic understanding of how to defend yourself if you're if you're like assaulted? Yeah, all my shit's kind of a little janky now. <sighs> So, uh, did he touch you? And um, he knocked everything over. He knocked this out. He got me. He threw that. That was the that was the only interesting thing that happened on your stream. I'll be back. I'm going to make one more drink. And then we're going to have to fucking put a fork in this. It's Monday. It's my day off. But the problem with my day off is that I have to catch up on, like, um, I don't know if you heard about this thing. It's called, like, uh, marketing oneself. So I have to put out clips, like, on TikTok. And I have, like, fucking actual work to do tomorrow. To, like try to grow the community because I love all of you, but I we need a, we need more of you. I'll be back. Maybe they'll get assaulted again while I'm gone. Who knows? Are you okay? Well, I'm, thank you. I'm glad you guys saw that. That was insane. I, thank you. Thank you for going to get him. Yeah, that was insane. I don't. He just came out of nowhere. He went from like zero to Mel Gibson. It's like I'm gonna knock all your shit over. Yeah, I tried it with mine too. Oh, really? Yeah, he uh, flipped everything over, but this is pretty well secured. It's pretty good. He tried to hit the phone. Yeah, no, he got all my shit out. He knocked my. This is all jacked up. I'm okay, Liz. I'm yeah. okay, y'all. Okay, Thank but, you. Uh, Thank you I for mean, checking on me. You know, go ahead and make your decision whether or not you want to put that guy in a fucking pen. I mean, I feel like we probably should, but I also feel bad because he's probably just on drugs and doesn't have any money to deal with this. But it seems as though, I mean, that would be a data point for uh, these. That was insane. Because he kicked that and threw it. My chat is definitely saying call 911. Yeah, I know they are. And, and I mean, it's not the worst idea. It's not. Yeah, indeed. But, the, I mean, it's completely up to you. Whether or not you want the hassle or uh, if you want to, like, put that guy in, in uh, a pen for the rest of uh, for a very long time because they won't let him go. They won't let somebody like that. Okay, everyone's saying yes. I just don't know. My second phone might not call. All right, well, I'll, I'm hanging out for that. Yeah, I don't really like um, that guy at all. That was terrible. All right. I'm just shaky. I'm just a little shaky, y'all, okay? I need to, like, just give me a minute, okay? I feel like one thing that these people are missing from like this whole scenario is they're they're like in downtown areas, but there's a lot of different people walking by. Hold on, uh, fucking Star White motherfucker. Um, and they're staring like into their phone. And I feel like these people put themselves in a kind of physically vulnerable position by doing this, right? Because you're, if you're staring into your phone and like dealing with your chat and stuff like out and about, nobody should assault you. You have a right to film or whatever they're doing on the street. I'm not saying that like you don't, but your peripheral vision is fucked right? You can't see anything that's going on around you. And as a creature of the city, I live in the burbs now, but I'm a creature of the city. You don't hang out in a downtown area without being able to like have some idea of what's going on around you. What if Scientology really was a dangerous organization? Well, now you're staring into this little fucking thing in front of you. I'm like, oh, I'm doing an activism. But you're staring right at this fucking phone in front of you. And you have no idea what's happening around you. No, downtown's not. A, no, downtowns are gentrified. But there's a lot of people walking by, right? There's just a lot of different people because it's a dense area. 
There's just going to be a lot of people around you. Downtown areas and cities are safe, actually. They're just safe. They're fairly safe. But that's like on a per capita basis. And so if you're out there doing this and you're like claiming that you're protesting against a dangerous organization, then maybe you should have peripheral vision. Maybe you should have some idea of what's happening around you. This is my take. I don't know. I think they're in downtown Austin. Totally safe area. Like, I'd be fine walking around daytime, nighttime, whatever. But I'd still be, like, fucking aware of my surroundings. And they're not. When that person came up and smacked her phone or whatever, she had no idea what was happening around her. Just no situational awareness. None at all. And that seems... I'm going to go out on a limb here. Up, oh, Stupid. It's like, you know, the actual harm that that person could do. He did a little vandalism and he assaulted people. He's all the time. They're, they're bad. They're very, very bad. Uh, mentally or by the way, the person like that is going to suffer. Very extreme. Yeah, yeah, that's what, because she saw what we saw. She had no idea what was happening around. Like, what the, like, who in their right mind, like, she's also supposed to be out there protesting, right, in some sort of way. The hands of somebody like that. Like, I'm not so much worried about, like, violence, but does she, is she carrying a purse? It, uh, she, might, she might be carrying a purse. What if somebody just comes and takes her purse? They don't assault her or anything. They just grab her purse and run. She has no idea what's going on. It's going to take her, what, 15, 20 seconds to even figure out what's going on. Because she's just looking a fucking thousand yard stare into her iPhone. Y'all, I don't even have the option. My second phone won't let me do it. It's not calling. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Keister and YouTube. You know, you know how when you see like a reporter and the camera person, right? Part of the reporter's job is to keep an eye on what's going around on around the camera person, the person that's filming them. Yeah, the reporter's kind of keeping an eye on the camera. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And like, like I said, that person should not have like come up and done that but she had no idea what was going on around her there's like some naivete about like just existing in a world that's going on here it's it's pretty weird like if i go to san francisco the castro is a safe neighborhood i'm still fucking walking with my head up walking a little quick Looking like I know where the fuck I'm going. And it's not that I'm like afraid. It's just that this is how you fuck This is how you do in a city. Yeah, but you saw it. I, that sucks, actually. Why so dang this? I'm sorry that you were a victim of gun crime, right? But like you at least kind of saw what was going on because you weren't staring at your phone talking to your chat. My fucking God. Thanks, y'all. It's not that cities are necessarily dangerous. It's just there's a lot going on around you, and it's a good idea to fucking have some idea of just generally what's going on around you. And if you're really afraid of the cult of Scientology, and you're protesting them, and you think that they're a dangerous organization, maybe it's a little a reason to have an even better idea of what's going on around you. But I don't think these people are afraid of the cult of Scientology. They're not even practicing, like, just sort of, they're not even doing, like, sort of best practices for, like, existing in a place with a lot of people. Oh, 
probably a great idea. I don't care if they grab somebody. I don't care where you are. If there's a lot of people around, you pay attention to what's going on. Somebody else might be getting hurt and you could help them. Like, what the fuck? Heck, Easter Bunny. And that's fine. Like, um, and I'll, I'll walk around a city with earbuds in, but like, and little to no podcast or whatever, but I'm looking around, I'm looking around. And I understand that like, yeah, I can't hear everything because I got earbuds in and I'm listening to like some random Linux podcast. But I'm looking around. I'm fucking paying attention to what's going on. But that's different too because I'm walking. I'm like going somewhere. The, the, she's sitting. She's standing there. Like this is so. Like this. 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 This is such. Like just on like a personal safety level. This is just so. This is so stupid. I mean, he's long gone now. Oh yeah. He's- I saw it coming. I saw it coming. It was. I- no, you didn't. Because you were looking right into your phone, thousand yard stare into your iPhone. Watched it. You didn't see this coming. Unfold. It was really very upsetting and not awesome. I mean, honestly, it really does seem like a setup. Oh, it seems like a setup. There was an unstable person in downtown Austin. Oh, it was set up. They set it up. So, like, listen to these people. The church, the cult of Scientology has nothing to do with what just happened. Right? They just don't have anything to do with it. There aren't any Scientologists anymore. You were just like in a, in an area where there's a lot of foot traffic and you weren't paying attention to what's going on. You don't have to be like hyper vigilant. Like this isn't burn notice. Right? You're not a fucking burn spy walking around Miami whoever where people want to kill you, but like fucking look around every once in a while. You fucking idiots. Thank you. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Yeah, he is. He, I, I mean, mean he we, we're, we get caught off guard by shit all the time. Like, uh, this wasn't her fault, but like, pr- be a little bit vigilant. Especially if you're standing in the same fucking place filming. And straight from my phone and swatted it. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't swat at he me. He swatted this phone straight out of this gimbal, knocked all the shit over, and then picked up that fucking sign and threw it at me. See, they're trying that the, now they're fucking writing Scien, they're writing Scientology fanfic about what just happened to that. I would be stunned if what just happened to them had anything to do with Scientology. It's just like fucking cities are cities. It's a lot of people. Eventually, one of them is going to be fucking kook birds. Like, but it is going to be tough taking that guy off the street right now. Yeah, it is. So, do you see that sign? That's what he picked up and threw at me, y'all. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, he's having something. And there's some guy three times your size out here last time. No, I'm okay. He didn't really get. Wow. Wow, okay. So now somebody's saying like really terrible racist things behind me. And so I'm just going to try to talk over them so you can't hear all the fucking disgusting things that this trash human is yelling at us. LNJ7031. That was really gross. It is. What a day out here, y'all. I don't know. And now my phone's all unturbulated. My shit's all fucked. Wow. Okay, this is a new one. Apparently, we're filming, like, Battlefield Earth. 
No, this is not Battlefield Earth. What a piece of shit that guy was. And now look, I'm stuck with Battlefield Earth view over here. This is not Battlefield Earth. Because I'm a shit all jacked up. Oh, this isn't... Damn. Can it be fixed in position? No. Oh, she's like, great, that bad thing just happened because I was staring directly into my phone and now let's just stare right in my phone yeah. some more. Okay, that's what that's as good as it gets, y'all. Okay. He definitely thought I was like, yeah, well, he thought something. Alright, that's a little better. Well, we got like a full-on Texas Nazi right here. Wait, what? Um, we're getting, okay, uh, thank sorry. you, Leo. How's the boob? My bo boobs are intact. No, no, no boobs were harmed in what? the making of this contact. So did you call? Somebody else is calling. My phone, my secondary phone won't go through. So somebody in chat's calling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tense, I'm just checking the Allen LB right now. Yeah, okay. I'll be here. Wow. Uh, no, the moon is not full. Um, I have no idea why he went from zero to Mel Gibson. But I'm also not going to be real excited about um, them trying to blame me for the busted sign situation out here. A busted sign? Exactly. There was no busted. Okay. Like, you, you, there was a cardboard. You had a cardboard sign. It did not, Jilbo. It did not. It stayed in its bra. Um, you know, I do. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, I definitely have a picture of his face. He was just walking and then just like, he made like a real sharp turn and just came directly for me and swiped directly at this phone right out of the gimbal. I don't think you got a, I mean, you got a picture of his face afterward, sure, but like. And I don't want to hear nothing about the fact that I just lit a cigarette right now because I got a lot of fucking adrenaline and that was a lot. He did go from zero to Mel Gibson. Oh, go ahead and smoke a cigarette home, that girl. Was it's fun. Yes, oh, the people, no, they left. Thank you so much, Flying Mom, for duct tape and fixes all. You know what, you're right. And does. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, bitch, Mr. Do you need to order a new gimbal to do? Yeah, right? Oh, we'll find out. It looks like it's working. Your gimbal's fine. Good idea. Yeah, I'm okay. He didn't have good aim. I told them I was there with you and went to my car because I got scared. They didn't understand why I was calling if I wasn't there. So I said, okay, got you. That, you know what? Zero to Sean Penn, zero to, um. Oh, Chris, thank you. Oh, an anonymous gifter gifted Chris a sub in the chat. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Well, at least he's wearing a really red shirt, so he sticks out. I wonder, I, I don't think. Zero to fax machine, stop it. I, he was screaming the R word too. I don't really know what that was about. No, I, Lynn, I didn't. Anonymous say, gifter so. gifted. It, it's, you got a zoom, but no, I did not have Stock it. Stock footage, a, a sub. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Well, I'm not touching that, that sign that's over there because the, I'm not allowed to touch their property and I didn't touch yeah, in the first place. Yeah. Camera. Oh, I thought that guy was going to pee. Look, look, this guy it looked like he was going to take a piss on Scientology. Check this out. Not allowed to touch their property. I, I thought for a minute, I was like, is this guy going to piss on the Scientology building? An anonymous gifter gave Fire Eater 777 a sub. Like, oh place. man, I thought that yeah, guy was going to pee. Like, look at, it looked like he was about to pee on the Scientology yeah, building, which would have been a, a, fix a, that sign. a much more illegal, but much more effective. Zero, to what's the frequency, Kenneth? Indeed. So I, the police are on their way. Right. <laughs> on their way. We're going to have a little, a chitty chatty, a chitty bang bang. There might be one here. I'm not sure. If there is one here, I don't know. Yeah, I did. Get, I got a good shot of him hitting selflessness phone for sure. Yeah. Well, you I thought that guy was going to pee on the Scientology building. I was like, oh, we got something here. The two guys in the alley, the two homeless guys in the alley that approached me, they were looking for drugs. So. Oh, wow. So they've got them set up around the building? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not touching that sign. 
Wait, why? I knew you were gonna have one. I knew you were gonna have one of those. Tried to be nice. Yeah, I'm not touching that sign. You didn't even notice that that guy looked like he was going to pee on the Scientology. They do. Your situational awareness is lacking. That one is actually, they do have a live feed on that one. I was, uh, I was incorrect in that. Oh, very good. Yeah. I mean, the sign is is going. Well, yeah, I mean, they... It's the door that's still busted. I mean, that guy looked like... The door's not busted. Well, um... say the sign does have camera. uh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the guy's, uh, seemingly... <laughs> Why so dang? They might still try, Miguel. I'll be in the sink. Red shirt, gray pants, and black so, yeah, backpack. The sign says free personality test. Yep, cracked it. Lady, you need a personality test. I know, you would fail, been. though. This they should have uh, snapped my bra or something. This is what they're uh, doing now here in uh, Austin, Texas. Oh, there is a Narconon? Yeah, well, that's probably where I came. Where is it? Can you do Wait, what? Address? Yeah, he d- Adrian. He sounded like some uh, like yeah, some in there. Austin. There's a Narconon, isn't there? Yeah. So now they're like, oh, the guy must have been from Narconon, the Scientology front group, that their anti-drug thing. It couldn't have possibly just been that it was just some person. This all has to come back. It has to be Scientology doing this. It couldn't just be not Scientology. Yeah. Yeah. There's Meth tech. Yeah. There, so. Um, no, the, the guys it's, don't know. It's, I think the sign is okay. It's, it's the paper that's all busted. It's like Scientology oh, uh, oh, you Scient- want to see that sign? Oh, well, very a, different than NA. It. Although NA's got some problems too. But broke my gimbal the last time. Yeah, they're just sitting back there, like, oh my god, somebody finally hit Pearl. Who's they? I mean, I I don't want you to get a hit. I, but I'm curious as to what you're doing also uh your opsec is bad that could be flying mom did i just see somebody on the balcony no it's just a bird oh my god it's i saw bird. the bird as soon as you said that i was like no way <laughs> it was a bird. Well, that bird is uh scientology actually it's gonna poop on you they get out there yeah well you know i'm, I'm sure they could if they really tried you guys are so kind. So I will. I have. I have some water. Oh, I love that. I love that. Hi, mom. Matthew got encouraged by yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, they sure do. Trying to show that it's a bird. It's a fucking Scientology bird. I know. I think I just need to be in a bubble. The cops were called. Okay. Oh. oh, you are in a bubble, and that's why you're like your your situational awareness is poor. The person who walks into a room and doesn't look for the exits. Gal has never seen burn notice. Oh, of course it's on Cameron. So it's not far from me, actually. That's not far from me. Fifty seventh and Cameron. That's not far. We do hearts over people. We just hope that none of them had to go. Oh, Ron Hubbard. (laughs) I know. It's just I have this magnetic personality. Well, I wouldn't describe it that way. Boy in the bubble. Well, I I prefer the uh, Seinfeld bubble boy one. Moops. Oh, the card says moops. By type 3 person. Thank you, Kimberly, for dropping selfless yeah, that's, uh, that, that's very interesting. Yeah, they're so hot. I could not in the summer. Here, I'll put this on me for now so you can see if I'm okay. Yeah, You're right, okay. Roadkill when you need them. At home, trying to make things up to Princess and the Poodles. Appreciate you. Seems like. So you were just assaulted and you're still just looking directly at your phone. I don't know. Like, like, like this gal shouldn't be assaulted. There's no, there's no reason for that person to have walked by and assaulted this gal. 
But like, don't you think you'd be like looking around a little bit more after the, the, this happened? I know I would be. I mean, it could be either. The Scientology one with John Travolta or the one with John Travolta might be better. Marco. Oh, a catcher's mask. That's true. I, I can start wearing my roller derby gear. What you see a lot in Los Angeles. Oh, you should wear your roller derby gear. I, you know, I, I like her a little bit more now that I know she does roller derby. Deer blind, yes. They'd be like shaking it. It's like leaned up against this like little tree with like an eight inch diameter. Sure, but uh, they might not let him in there. The other- I played an after party for the San Jose Roller Derby girls. They, they, they fucking, that was fantastic. I've never had lesbians like my, the music that I played more. Broke to, I don't have babysitters anymore. They just send coffin dodgers and, uh. Coffin dodgers? Dr. Wheelgood. That's my roller derby name. Coffin dodger? Somebody wanted me to be Blood Pearl and I was like. What the fuck is a coffin dodger? So, you know, that's where all of this becomes very... <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Just acted real weird. I'm at a festival. Nice response for uh, a reported assault. Yeah, right? Far. I mean, I know what a coffin dodger... Like, that, that means somebody who's gonna die, I suppose, but... Yeah. Really, good one on you. We just need to sneak out here and make a uh, tree fort tech. You should be out there dressed like an umpire. Uh, seemingly... Uh, goalie. And, uh, uh-huh. The cavalry all the way up our ass in five minutes. And maybe every damn ladder and pump truck within, you know, a few Yeah, I know. We all want to know about his fitness journey. Mentally unstable. Uh, presently, it's the defense for him. Thank you very much, Jessica. Oh, wow. That was the best. This is. Oh no! Oh, we should do the roller derby files. My experience with roller derby is um, uh, I got paid uh, I got paid seven hundred dollars to DJ for two and a half hours, and uh, they all danced. Ooh, it's not, like my, this little gimbal is in turbulated as hell right now. Yeah, totally. I'm glad that Fuck, it's three in the morning. Okay. I'm guessing this is still David Harris. Yes, they do. Alright, I'm gonna yes, finish my do. drink and we're gonna get out of here. This is still I miss Arizona. I know. I, it's like have you like we watched Battlefield Earth but with like commentary over it, like the people from Mystery Science Theater. It was amazing. But the Mystery Science Theater is uh, funny. It is, but I have to have it plugged in right now. It's the charging cable. And for a lot of protesting stuff. I know. We. Thank you, Anna. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm, I'm up too late, too, actually. It's rare that we're here till three in the fucking morning. Cops need to know that you're only here because. Oh, set up your new torch. I don't know what that means. Are you doing dabs? Do some dabs. Yeah, yeah. have like 80% of a drink, so. He's not wrong, Cosmo. Yeah, we'll raid Zach App. Yeah, sure. Zach App. The last time you told me to raid somebody, it was politics person guy. I mean, it's, it's, I'm so sorry. Oh, how's their Facebook page looking? Locked down, I, I'm uh, sure. Oh, mythology. I'm the left flank vets isn't on yet. Uh, we yeah, would have right. to be up to like five in the morning, I think, yeah. for le- it to be left flank vets. Right. Like, oh God, get away from the door so that we can't be. Oh, we'll raid Zach App. You should. Dude, I, when I did that, I went on <laughs> politics person guy show. I was, I was pretty nice actually. All things. Uh, Those you people be were crazy. It should be fixed now. Yeah, I can't do another. I can't do another hour. It should be fixed now. Yeah. New shoes or just a new pack of meth or whatever. Oh, yeah, man. That movie roller derby in Austin. I didn't do bank track, though. I did flat track. Oh, dude, she'd be, a, she'd be mean in the roller derby. Yeah, I know, right? 
Look at how quick they're here. They're probably still arresting all the protesters from today. Wait, what, what protesters? Does she mean the, the Gaza protesters, or does she think that there was somebody besides her in front of the Scientology She's building? She's the one who filed all the harassment charges against me. Uh, I, I see that a there's a fire truck here. Assault. Yeah, I'm flat track only. I can't. Who, firefighters? Uh, hello, firefighters. Uh, uh, it was messed up. I can't do bank track. Point your, could you point your phone at the firefighters, please? I can do a bank track on my track bike. Um, like on my fixed gear, I can, I'll ride on one of those, but... Yeah, right? No pit bull. That's right. Yes, thank you all for being here to watch all of the fun that happens. Yeah, here. but you said, could you point your phone at the firefighter? Ma'am, we, we could use some fucking, we could use some uh, scenery. Could you point your phone at the firefighters, please? All of the um, little drag rats. Wait, what? I'm glad no one was hurt either. I mean, my gimbal might have something else to say about that, but... Depending on what your lawyer says, and I hope you get a good one. Well, it's probably going to be my friend who's their attorney. <laughs> I very much hope so. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it's all the way down. So, um... Yeah, but you mentioned firefighters, and now I'm... Now I'm horny. Maybe like 10, I don't know. Mike, this gimbal's going to fuck. Well, also your phone's not all the way in the middle, so it's gonna have to work harder. Well, if it does it in the middle, then it's like lopsided. <laughs> if I put it in the middle, it's like it'll Giving her gimbal okay. advice. Like the weight distribution. Oh, right. So yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's not bad. I did turn it off and turn it back on, y'all. I do IT. That's not bad. Come on now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do IT. Get the <laughs> fuck the out of here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Have you tried turning it on and back off? I know that poor gimbal on the opening day. What a mess. What? Thanks, Doctor Who Heather. Yeah, no, he he really just got the phone and the gimbal. I know. Well, we're waiting for the police. We'll see if they bother to show up. <laughs> yeah, right. So it seems like uh, maybe, uh, some members the ghost jumped. Out. <laughs> Why would you trust the? You're at a protest. Why do you want to talk to the police? Hi, I'm protesting. I'd love to talk to the police. They're not in danger of catching the charge. They just uh, probably flying all, all over. Them. Yeah, probably Duncan. Or or like Shipley's in Austin. It's probably Shipley's. Two, two or three sports bras. Caution tape. Caution tape. Oh, please. If, I mean, if enterprising, uh, you know, female protesters would like to wrap themselves in caution tape just to, just to make sure Scientology knows that they're not up to any boot tricks. Um... No, he, I mean, that sign is probably pretty heavy, and he tried to throw it at me, and that didn't really work out for him. That, that, that might help out. So, um, okay, so, like, the EMS guys from the campus protest are moving off the site. All right, well, we watched whatever this is, uh, Pearl Snappy.